All right, what's up, guys? We're back for last day of the week. TGIF. Oh, it's half of papala, no? Buti na lang pala, hindi tayo ngayon nag-break kasi mas lalong magagalit yung mga oh. <laughs> listeners. Okay, may kami ng pasensya. Kwento nga natin kung bakit tayo biglang walang episode ka, Ponzi. Huwag <laughs> siya wala um, tayo sa umpisa. <laughs> okay, so, no Wednesday. Sige, two reasons siguro. Yeah, si Wednesday. So it was not not kami PBA during uh the afternoon. Yeah. It was Enlex versus Terra Firma and yep. we catch caught a bit of the Phoenix and Miguel game. Uh-huh. And then later that night, it was Evan Ellie's birthday, birthday in versus sa BGC. BGC. Yeah. Um uh, we knew it I knew it was going to be like a fun night. I didn't know it was going to be that fun. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So, at least for you. And they actually come in, bro. Ikaw din ni. Eh. Napaano ka rin eh. Palaban ako sa dad. <laughs> Napalaban ka rin, bro eh. Ma- uh, I just want to say this. Like Evan's mom and dad are crazy fun and they are super. Sobrang bagets pa rin. Sobrang Sobra pa rin, no? Enjoy parang they, they they see to it talaga na parang everybody is having a good time. And they see to it, everybody, they take care of everybody. You should yeah. know. Oh, yeah. I was definitely taking care <laughs> of. Mamaya na natin pang summer. Mamaya, punta tayo dyan. Just na tayo sa upiya. So, dumating kami doon. Kasi ako, yung kusan ako nakatira on the way si Javi. So, papunta ka Raneta. Sumabay siya with CK. Hmm. And then, pag uwi namin, bumaba siya doon. Kasi on the way din. Tapos, pagpunta ulit hmm. namin ng BGC ng mga... 10.30, 11.30, yeah. Oo, oh, doon pa. Sumabay din siya papunta BGC. So, pag nalil namin ng BGC sa versus... Mind you guys, I am... We, me and CK actually, both of us are super like... Wow, ganito pala. Ganito, ganito na pala yung tsura. <laughs> may ng, parking na pala dito. May parking na pala yung palace. Hindi na nga palace yun, di ba? Palace pa ba tawag doon? <laughs> palace pa rin. Palace oh, yung buo, di ba? So, ganito na pala yung palace. Ganyan, ganyan. So, may we were super still parking na may level. Eh, dati open parking yun. Nung huli ako pumapit. Oh. So, kami ni CK parang, wow, ganyan. So, si Javi parang alam na niya. Ganyan, di ba? Ano niya yan eh. Uh, Kung baga basketball court ni Javi yan eh. Home court kayo. Oh, <laughs> eh. So, pagpasok namin doon, everybody was there. I just don't wanna name names because I don't wanna... Baka biglang bawal pala lumabas ito mga hype oh, na doon, di ba? So, madami sila doon. Yung dalawang third place teams nandun. Uh, <laughs> mukhang sineselebrate nila yung mga third place nila. And then yung Beda, nandun yung Lasalo. Obviously, uh, Evan was part, is part, was and is part of both. And then, uh, yun. Tapos, yung dad ni Evan, sobrang galante. As in? Like, bibig, bibigyan ka niya ng... Guys, kwento ko lang to. Ah. I, don't, I, don't, I hate talking money, pero maganda kwento naman talaga to eh. And order anything you want, number one. Order anything oh, you pare. want. Drink anything, anything you, you want. want. Tapos, lahat ng arcade dun sa buong place, naka, ano na yun, naka-setup na pag pinindot mo, makakalaro ka na. Oh. Hindi ka na mag-totoken. Tapos, umiikot yung daddy ni Evan, tapos namimigay ng pera para mag-shot ka. <laughs> sa akin na una, Siyempre, naspatan ako ng daddy ni Evan. Eh, like kami nagkakwento nun pag nag kami sa games. Ganyan. So, nagkakwento na kami. Maaga pa yung gabi nun. Nagkakwento. Nung medyo, ano na si Tito, may hawak na siyang... Patron ba yung hawak niya, boy? Patron, patron. Patron, may hawak na siyang patron. Eto na. Yung mga beta boys, bubulog na sa akin. Yan na, bro. mag ka na. <laughs> Sabi sa akin. Eh, kasi sumashot tayo ng konti kahit pa paano, di ba? Oh. Even though hindi man ako minom. Napapashot ako, yeah. siyempre. Yeah. So, lahat sila, bro, wag kang sumat. Ko, bakit? Itipid mo yan. Basta maniwala ka sa akin. Eh, sumat na ako mga tatlo-apat. Eto na si Tito ni Evan. Dala yung patron. Sabi sa akin, Mikey, Mikey! Nilagyan niya, shot. So, pag gano'n niya sa akin, nilagyan niya ng pera sa ilalim yung shot. <laughs> Ganyan. Sabi ko, Tito, eh, ayoko talaga uminom eh. Kasi patron yun, mas malakas yun. Oo, oh, bro. Sabi ko, Tito, Pasensya na. Nag-joke na lang ako. Tito, pasensya na. Malaki TF ko. <laughs> so parang lahat nagtawa na. Parang, ayaw, malaki TF yan. Si Mikey yan. Si Mikey Reyes yan. Kaya, kaya, kaya. Si Tito naman, kinol yung bluff ko, pare. I was just bluffing. Kinol niya yung bluff ko, bro. 
So, dinoble niya, nilagyan niya ulit sa ilalim. So, sabi niya, oh, ah, o nga no, malaki nga pala TF mo. O sige, pak, 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 pak. So, siyempre, ako naman, like, ang ina, I don't wanna be a, like, diba, huwag naman tayong bading. Huwag tayong support, diba? Huwag naman bading. Okay, makancel tayo doon. Pero, huwag naman tayong support. Makakancel din pa tayo sa support. Pute, hirap na. Ang hirap naman ito. Ah. Pero, huwag naman tayong support na bilin enough mo, kinol, biglang maatras ka. So, wala akong nagawa. So, sinat ko yung patron. Pero worth Tatlo it. Tatlo rin. May Tatlo sige. rin yun sa'yo. Isa lang eh. Ang ina mo ka. <laughs> Tapos si sakit tatlo? Ay so, na yan? Siya, si Tito yan. Okay, sa gaya yan. So, umisan shot ako. Tapos may pera sa ilalim. Guys, it's not crazy like magugulat ka dun sa presyo. Pero like, bro, like... It's still money. Bro, it's... I mean... It's, honestly, it's a lot of money. Honestly, it's a lot, a lot of money. money. It's, a lot of, it's not five digits, but it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Sa ilalim, it's like, not something that, I mean, ay, kung bakit iinom ka, iinom ka lang, tapos oh, may ganun pera ka, diba? Ang bago nga, para na ako sa inom, simula nung sinat ko yun, sabi ko, hindi ako sa shot ko, walang bayad. Nag-alipin ng salapin na rin ako to sa party na parang, hindi ko sa shot niya, wala namang bayad yan eh. Ang sa shot ko lang yung binibigay ni Tito. Yung lang yung sa shot ko. So anyway, inom ko, ganyan, ganyan. Honestly, nilatamaan ako kasi naka-apat liba na ako before that na ano ba? Hindi ko lang kung yung pinapainom niya sa akin. Patron din ininom natin. Patron din ininom natin. Gago pala kayo eh. <laughs> anyway, so medyo tinamaan ako legit. So parang ako, babe, pain too big. So sobrang dami tubig sa table namin ni Javi. Sobra Shumat to ina. isa. Shumat to. May kasama siya. Shumat pa. Si Tito nandun sa kabila tumingin sa akin. Sabi Tito, ginanon niya na naman sa akin. Sabi niya, ano, isa pa. Eh ako naman, sabi ko, hindi na muna. Kasi pag kumik ako, isa pa. Deads na ako nito. Like, I really felt, hindi naman deads, pero hindi ko na may enjoy yung kape. Oh. Sabi ko, hindi muna ako. Sabi ko, huwag muna ako ganyan. Sabi ko, gumaganan ako sa'yo, Brad. Nandun ka nakatalikot kayo. Tumuturo ko sa'yo. Lapit si Tito, dala na naman yung patron. <laughs> The same amount na binigay sa akin, pero sa kaya tatlo. Bro, tatlo, guys. As in, nandito yung pera. One, two, three. Pero so, natabumo, pero natabumo bulag sa kanya na malakas sa uminom talaga ako eh. Eh, totoo naman eh. Pero bro, in fairness, nagawa mo talaga. Guys, tumatlong shot siya sa harap ko. Bro, hindi doon. Ano ko hindi so doon. may... Stinori ko ba? Hindi ko ata stinori. Stinori kasi, mo yata. Stinori, kasi, stinori ko. Basta tatlo, pak, pak, pak. Dinakuha na niya yung pera niya. Problema. Yung tatlong yun, medyo talaga tinamaan si Abby. Yeah, kasi talagang... If it came like earlier in the night, I wouldn't have... It wouldn't have happened. Pero kasi... Yun nga eh, sabi ni Mikey. Like, yung table kasi namin, nasa may... Harapan kasi ng pinto. May entrance. So, like, lahat ng mga bagong dating or like mga dadaan, yeah, yeah, ako, yeah. pinapashot ko. So, malamang, pag pinapashot ko, sinasabayan ko rin. So, oh. medyo nakarami na rin ako. I mean, I wasn't... I wasn't, I wasn't tipsy, but like, I was kind of... I was kind of hit na. So, medyo... Na-enjoy ko na yung gabi. Pero like, those three shots really did me in as in after that, parang, whoa, shit. Kasi yung iniinom natin na patron, inahalo pa natin yun sa shaker with ice, with orange and everything. So, hindi siya yung sobrang init. Yung galing kay Tito, like straight from the bottle talaga. And those, two, and those were three full shots. As in, shot three full note. shots, no joke. Three full shots. Yung mga okay. shot natin, mga half shot lang or mga one-fourth shot. Okay. Yung kay Tito, it was really three full shots. Saka sinabi namin, since di kami nag-episode ka, wala akong pakailan magkikintuan tayo ngayon hanggang pumunta tayo sa pa. Ayan, no? Ayan, guys. Oh. Bro, tatlohan. O, oh, lagay ulit, to. Oh. Ako pa yung tagalagay. <laughs> two. Ayan, no? Para yung buka ni Abby. Bro, two. O. Oh. Guys, no joke. We taking it like a champ. <laughs> Hindi ako uurong dyan. Tumi mo ka ni Abby. Tumi mo ka doon. Nakuha niyo yung pera. Oh. <laughs> so, ayan, tapos after that, thank you siya na thank you kay Tito. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Thank you na thank you kay Tito. Thank you, Tito. Thank you, Tito. <laughs> Sabi siguro ni Abby, ginagawa ko itong gabi-gabi, walang bayad. <laughs> Ngayon may bayad. So anyway, so medyo tinamaan talaga si Abby, no joke. Ako naman nagre-recover ako kasi nga, Nagbago yung pananaw ko from nandito ako para kay Evan to Apo, Tekian, Alipin ako ng Salapi. <laughs> Ginawang rakit. So, ina. magre-recover ako sa shot na to para sa shot ulit ako mamaya. Ganun yung utak ko na nun. Nagbago na nag-shift na. Pero syempre, enjoy naman talaga. And Kaya, sarap ng pagkain doon. Sobra. Y- yun yung sinulit ko. Oo, oh, yun, yun talaga. Yun. <laughs> Kulang na lang kumuha ako ng rice bowl doon. 
Lahat ng ulam, kinakain ko na eh. Anyway, so yun. Natuloy yung gabi. Yan. Sobrang saya guys. A lot of hoopers were there. A lot of basketball personalities. Evan, you know, Evan just knows how to throw a party. Anyway, after yeah. that, uh, mga, siguro mga 3 a.m. Labas tayo. Parang nagkayayaan na lumabas. Kasi kumu- medyo may mga maaga umuwi kasi may mga practice the next day. Tapos may mga mamaya-maya umuwi kasi wala naman inside the next day. So tayo, umuwi tayo mga three, labas tayo. And then, lumabas sakto yung mommy and daddy ni Evan. And sobrang saya nilang kakwentuhan. Kaya lang itong kaibigan ko, lasing na lasing na. So, nagyahaya na siya umuwi. Eh kami ni CK, alam mo kami ni CK honestly, pag may nakakausap kami na nakakatanda, and may experience sa uh, career, relationships. Yeah. Talagang we we really try to really talk to them and ask questions. Lahat, pagkasama namin si Arwin, si Boss Alfred, it's like yun yung mga gusto namin malaman. So, eh, obviously, successful yung Nelly family, di ba? Like, ang inday pere. So, sabi ko, oh, may tuwa tayo para matutunan natin yung mga mindset. Yun. Eh, lasing na lasing na tong kaibigan namin. Buti na lang, may friend pa kami doon na pauwi na din. Uh-oh. Sinabi namin kay Javi, Hav, sumabay ka na sa kanya. Pati hindi doon, nung pauwi na sila, kinapa ni Javi yung pantalon niya. Walang cellphone. <laughs> Takin ng yan. Di ko talaga alam saan niya na misplace yun. I tried calling, I, t- I, t- I called Versus uh, yesterday. I called Silo also because I think I I think I went I went there. So, hindi pa kasi sure kung saan siya pupunta, guys. Bro, sobra. I, there was really a part of the night na di ko na talaga maalala. So, yun, up, those were after the three shots. I called all those places that I thought I was in. Wala. Wala daw na surrender na iPhone 11. But hindi daw. So, guys. ayun niya. Yes, that, that night nung bago kami umuwi, nalaman ni Tito and Tita ah, okay. na nawala yung phone ko. Eh actually kasi ikaw naman kasi wala akong phone. So lahat kami parang uy, wala yung phone ni Abby. So hinahanap na yung phone. Ito parang okay lang yun. Okay lang yun. Ayaw ko lahat na akong phone. Di ko na kailangan yun. Gumaganong-ganong pa. So what's the answer ako, sabi ko? Oo oh, pare. Eh ang concern ko pa honestly ah call me selfish pero sabi ko parang kita may message bukas magre-record tayo. Okay lang bro, hanap tayo ng paraan. Gumaganyan na si Abby. <laughs> parang ako Oh, eh, I have na- never been that pissed ass drunk in so long. Eh, la- eh ginawa mo for the money, alipin na sa, lip- sa lapike. O so lahat naghahanap to sa loob, hindi talaga mahanap. Sabi nito, alis na tayo, alis na tayo. Huwag na, huwag na, okay na. Hindi ko na kailangan. <laughs> Shit, sabi ko pa rin. Bro, biglang si tita at si tito nagbulungan. Nagbulungan, bro. Tapos po tayo nabutan siya. Binang... Pambili na cellphone. Ang ina, pang down sa plan. So legit guys, ini pumunta lang Globe kahapon yan. At ngayon, may parating na iPhone 13 yan bu- bukas this next week. Bukas, oh siguro. Next week. So may just waiting na- for it. I'm just waiting for it. <laughs> so, no joke guys. <laughs> Kami talaga ni Sige parang grabe. And it's <laughs> not even, it's, this is not even a maze na mayaman sila. It's not even that. It's, yeah, because there are a lot Marami of people. Mayaman na, eh. Maraming mayaman. But not not everybody is as generous as that. Oo, pari. Na para, oo, kilala nila kami because Evan uh, apparently tells his mom to always watch our episodes at umabang daw ng kwentong napag-usapan natin siya. Mami naman ni Evan na sobrang bait kaya palod naman so parang sawang-sawa na ako sa inyong dalawa. Eh. So anyway, <laughs> kilala nila kami pero hindi naman ganun ka-close para abutan ng pam- oh. pang, pampalit ng cellphone. Exactly. So after no. So yun, tapos si I'm Javi, great. umulis na sila ng friend namin ng mga 3.30. Kami ni CK, hanggang mga 5 kami doon. Bro. Talaga? Oh, hanggang 5 kami. And then so, after that... Sabarin ng kwentuhan ninyo. And then after that, um, umuwi na si CK sa... Yung kay na, sa friend niya dyan sa Katipuna. Tapos ako dito na. And then, may araw na actually pag uwi ko dito. So, sa ito kwentuhan talaga na. Wala akong masabi dun sa Nelly ka. Solid ah. Sobrang so, solid. Oo oh, pare kasi sabi namin, oh, siyempre may sitin na mga nalil si Tito at si Astrid sa'yo. Oh, sila doon si CK sa'yo. Oh, babe, magmano ka na. Parte ng listahan natin to. Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. <laughs> Parte ng ninong, ninang list natin to. Sabi ko. Sabi ko, ay tita, tita, asama na kita sa ninong. Sabi niya, ayoko nga, gusto ko big time din yung mga ninong mo. Ay! Sabi ni CK, tita. So, mamakita yung listahan namin. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ako, nagtatanong ka ba kung big time yung ninong-ninang list namin? 
Eh, napaka big time ni Ninong Ninang list namin. So anyway... The who's who in sports. Oh, bro. Wala, wala tayo on the chat. So anyway, um, it was a fun night. And Super I just wanna, fun. Too much know, fun. Too much fun. At least for him. Grabe. But I just wanted to say thank you to the Nelly family, um, to, to Evan's sister, mommy, dad. And then lahat lang na nandun. Beda, Lasal, and... Actually, hindi lang Beda Lasal. Tamid. Hindi lang Beda Lasal. Ayaw ko lang talaga mag-name drop kasi hindi lang natin, natin sabihin diba? kung sino nandun. Kasi oh, baka ayaw, yeah. ayaw nila malaman na nandun oh, sila. Naman, <laughs> pero wala namang fun na out of control. Ah. Just wala, wala, wala. Plain, it, it was really ano lang, good, pure fun. Clean, clean fun. Clean fun. In, ino, so, kahit ano pwede mong inumin. Oh, sobrang... The, you know how you know how players have fun? You know, tipo tipo oh, asar. Ano? Oh, yeah, asaran, asaran. Kanchawan. A lot of asar. Like all 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 in good, all in good faith naman. Oh, wala namang masamang nangyari na baka lang magdisip niyo kung anong party nangyari. Wala naman, enjoy lang <laughs> talaga. So I just want to say thank you again to the Nelly family. Sobrang. Kaya yun yung dahilan. So kahapon may 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 work ako ng morning. Hindi ko na makontakt to. So <laughs> Sabi ko, wala nandito. Huwag tayo gumawa ng episode. Tapos nag-message to ng mga 2.30, 1.30. Oo, pare. 2 o'clock na ako nagising. Oh, tas, 2, 2, 2.30. Tapos sabi niya, bro, stress ba ako yung uwi? Sabi ko, bro, hindi kami nag-uwi sa'yo. <laughs> Ay, hindi ba? <laughs> sabi ko, bro, thank you, big. Ang inang yan, hindi ko na maala. I tried to piece together what happened during the latter part of the night. <laughs> Pero may mga pictures kami. Meron? Oh, hindi lang tayo mag-name drop. Pangit yun. Hindi tayo magiging. Pero may mga pictures to. kami. Mukhang masaya ka eh. Ang ina. Parang alam ko na nga yan. Ay, parang may mga pictures <laughs> lang kami. Parang masaya ka naman. Mukhang masaya ka naman sa mga nangyaya. Sige. Pasayad na lang ng pictures mami para makita. Ayaw ko. R-rated ni. Eh. R-rated ba? Hindi naman, R- di naman R-rated. Grabe naman yung R-rated. PG-13. Mga... PG-13. PG-13. <laughs> sige, sige. <laughs> okay. Okay, oh. anyway. <laughs> All right, we just had to make kwento kasi madami nagtatanong ba't walang episode ka. Literal nag-aloof tayo ni, hindi ako nag-explain. Wala, basta hindi naglabas sa episode. Eh di, di rin ako mapa, makapag-explain. Wala akong phone pang IG story. Di ako makapag-sorry sa mga tao eh. Wala siya ngayon na. Pero next week naman, ang iPhone 30 na yan. Ako ng puta. Kailangan natin ipakita dito yung cellphone mo para papasalamatan oh, natin. Oo, papakita natin, natin yan dito. Yung Nelly family, papasalamatan natin. Brought to you by the Nelly family. Thank you so <laughs> much, Tito Tita. Sponsored by the Nelly family. Okay. I will forever be indebted to you guys. <laughs> okay, game, game, game. Basketball, balik na tayo. Okay. Sige. Um, Pero wait. Bago tayo PBA. Sige, go, oh, go. Bago, uh, bago tayo mag PBA, mo. syempre, shout out portion. <laughs> Et, ito, party, eh, mas lalong hindi ko makikita yung mga request sa nyo kasi wala akong buong kapon. Hindi rin oh, ako nagbubukas ng request dito sa laptop eh. Okay, shout out M. Talawe, Jetro Dominic, J- Jetro Dominic, Kaiser Rafael Manalang, Francis Angat, who is the... May Discord server pala tayo, pari. Oh, meron, meron, meron. Tayo hindi yung creator nito, si Francis Angat. Ako rin, hindi ako nag-discord masyado. So yeah, if you guys are into Discord, please join the Shoot First Discord. Um, I'll, I'll try to... We'll, we'll try to post the link sa, sa YouTube. Kel Manyo, Rafael Cardotan, Don Rafael Mendoza, Kurt Vincent Ibay, Nix De La Cruz... Azer L. Bandahala from Holo, Sulu. Belated happy birthday to Kian Aratan, Nino Kunanan, Yang Flores, Wayne Veray, Jums from Dubai in UAE. Uh, happy graduation to Ian Navares, Florian Baldevia, and Cooper Perater from Binyan. Cool. Ang dami na naman. Appreciate dami all bro. of you. And I just want to say also we appreciate the people who, who approach us. Yeah. Whether nung nasa Araneta tayo, nung nasa Versus, sa BGC, like, grabe talaga until, like, like until now. Parang pag pumapasok, yeah. lalo na pag Araneta. Ako, I'm still, like, nagugulat parang, pa rin ako. Parang, lalo, like, lalo nakikinig kayo, ganyan, di ba? Even si... Parang, especially yun, like, especially like, you know, sa PBA na parang, ang ina, di naman oh, tayo. Mga, hindi, tsaka mga kilalang tao din, minsan. Yan na nga, pari. Like, si Boss Ronald ng NLEX, nakausap namin na matagal. Nakikinig daw talaga. Tapos, kada may NLEX topic, and then, kada oh. may episode, ipapadala niya dun sa secretary niya or something. I don't know. Yung secretary niya or yung isang ano sa office. Tapos, ipapapanood niya na parang, tingnan mo ako may NLEX. Ganun. Tapos, pag meron namang NLEX, papakinggan niya, tapos isisend niya sa mga boss niya. <laughs> so, talagang ano talaga, may nakikinig talaga mga malaking tao. It's still surprising to... 
for surprises us to this day. So, pagbigyan niyo kami ko medyo na nasa starstruck kami o nagfa fanboy kami. Anyway, okay, before we go to the PBA, I just want to go through this quickly. Um, Sharon Concepcion and Allen Liwag. Yeah. Uh, they, the they were cut pool. from the pool. Yeah. Medyo alam naman natin yung kakayanan ng dalawang to, but medyo masikip lang talaga. So, ang pumasok um Kemar Carino, Richie Rivero is in. Um si Kaylum Harris hindi. Pero doon siya sa under 16. Yeah, bata pa naman to. Ah, hindi. Oh, bata pa naman. Yeah, okay, bata okay, okay. pa. And then we have Dwight Ramos who's joining as well. Renz, Angelo Kwame, Dave, SJ, RJ, Kiambao, Tamayo, Navarro, Lopez, 3D, and Gio Chu. Okay, so Sherwin and Allen, though we do agree that they should have gotten, na it's only right that they got the chance to try out. Alam naman natin na medyo masikip talaga. Pero this is this will only be good for their confidence kasi nakat ka nga yeah pero Kaya, pare pang, pang 13 at 14 kayo i suppose kasi 12 okay pang o kaya 15 pang 16 17 kayo in all of college yun eh. so mm. if that doesn't raise your confidence then ah, pag pagbalik ni Liwag sa sa A- EAC puta kay buong linggo kalaban ko si Dave si Ange Si Thirdy, tapos si Sherwin naman. Babalik na USD. So, He's playing man. in the MPBL now. So, si I'm no? pretty sure. I'm Allen. looking forward to, oh, I'm looking Manila forward stars. to greater games. Oh, kasi wala rin siya masyadong, I mean, yung frontline ng Manila medyo, ay actually sila Kobe Mone. Pero sila, sila. Mga athletic guys. Yeah. So, they're gonna be exciting to watch. That's true. So, yun lang naman ang balitang nakuha ko hapon. Um, I didn't watch, sorry, bago tayo punta ng PBA kasi obviously yun yung bulk ng ating usap. I didn't watch the the finals. Yung yeah, I was obviously I was able to watch it as well because I was dead. But uh, wow, Boston came out on top 116 to 100. 2 1 is already the lead for Boston in this series. And uh, I'm, I tried to look at the stats. Um, Okay, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum led the way 27 and 26. But Marcus Smart had 24. I'm not sure how much um, Al Horford had and sila Derek White. But I, I'm, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing that everybody um, chipped in because nung second game, struggle, sila, struggle yung bench. Eh. So if the bench doesn't pitch in, then Sorry. nahihirapan talaga ang Boston because yeah. obviously Golden State has so much firepower so if you get them going they'll they'll definitely have a bigger chance of winning the game in game 1 they did a good job of shutting that that firepower down with their defense especially in the fourth quarter but um you also have to do your share on the offensive end which was what happened in Boston in game 1 um Al-, Al Horford, Derek Quiet, Marcus Smart, and all these guys were able to contribute and backstop Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. So I'm guessing this is also what happened yesterday. Golden State needs to win the next game. They because do. going down, I mean, yes, there is always that joke na 3-1, kaya yan, and a lot of teams have come back from a 3-1 deficit. Pero ayaw mong, ayaw mong ma- ano eh, ma- malagay pa sa sitwasyon na kailangan mo pang gawin yung, yung sobrang hirap na 3-1, hahabol ka, di ba? And you gotta they were get the last one. team that they were the last team that led three one. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta get one in Boston. You get you, you can't not get one in Boston because number one, let's just say they don't get this next one. So two, three, one. Then let's say they get the next one. Three, two. Uh-huh. They're going back to Boston and siempre parang hindi tayo na sa Boston. Eh. This will be this will only be good for their confidence then. Kasi pag bumalik pa sila sa Boston for game six, eh, baka mga close out kayo doon ng Boston. So, I mean, Boston really looks like parang, para silang UP pare ah. Alam mo yung parang, parang in your head, at tinayo pa din to sa dulo. Oo, oh, parang Pero destined. may nag-hope ka lang na parang sana makalusot yung UP or sana makalusot yung Boston. Yeah. Pero yung Golden State, yun, parang at tinayo yung dating. So, oh. they're looking legit, bro. This Boston team, man. That's a very good analogy. Ay, napalaban kasi. And a lot of people tend to overlook yung length talaga nila on the defensive end. They're also taller than Golden State aside from, you know, being long in terms of wingspan, but they're also taller. You have guys like Grant Williams, um, Robin Robert Williams, and 
Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum were just matchup nightmares on the defensive end because they can guard all positions. Oh man, like this is something that the Golden State Warriors need to look out for, and I'm sure all the Golden State fans are medyo anxious na, uy parang legit na. The Celtics fans though, de ba? Ako in all honesty, I was a big Celtics fan. Uh, I don't wanna, I hate admitting this, pero nung 2008 to, to 2008-2010, Celtics ako nun. Ah, talaga? Instead mm. of the Lakers? Mm. Si Rondo kasi parang wild nun eh, diba? Tapos si Big 3, Ray Allen. So pag naglaro yeah. ko 2K, Celtics ako nun. Busit na busit ako nung nashoot ni Meta World Peace yung Game 7 yung 3 points. <laughs> na parang, uy! As I was really rooting for Boston that time. So with Jason Tatum here, diba? As an analyst, I really feel like it was supposed to be or it's supposed to be Golden State's chip. Yeah, but, well, obviously, because of their championship experience. Oh, either way, bro, it's a great story. It is, it is. Because, you know, if... Because if Golden State wins, obviously, Steph Curry and get gets yeah. another one. But if Boston wins, can they not win too? Yeah, because... And this is a team that um, primarily or mostly Brad Stevens built talaga. Like, not really... He, he took a chance on Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown to lead the team. Tapos Marcus Smart, he held on to it. And he was responsible for um, having Al Horford back and Al Horford having a resurgence in his career, the renaissance man. I didn't know he I thought he was nearing the twilight of his career, but he's now a big part of why the Celtics are in the finals. And Derek White, that addition also, I, I, re- I say that time and again, one of the crucial additions for Boston this season. Hmm, si Bo Cruz. <laughs> si oh, yeah. I watched it last night. Great. Oh, yeah, Bo Cruz. Pero medyo bitin for me. Eh, wala like simula na yung season. Pero oh, Sorry, na, na, was, oh, so anyway, Golden was, State, sorry. Golden State and Boston they're going to play on Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. Bukas ba? Yeah, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, okay. So, good luck to both teams. Pero yung hustle pare, like natuwa lang ako na nagka pare first time nagpakita ni Brad Stevens dun sa dulo. Kaya Tapos nga, biglang yun pa yung ako. switch. Parang yun yung plot twist. Napunta pa ng Boston, pare. All this oh. time, we were thinking sa Philadelphia. Napunta ng Boston. Kaya medyo nung nag- nagbabatian sila, medyo, uy, cool nung plot. I-, I like that plot twist by, I don't know, si Adam Sandler by writer na story na yun. But, grabe yung movie na. Ganda, grabe ganda. in a sense na puro cameo. Grabe oh, yung mga puro... cameo, pare. Kahit si Dirk Nowitzki may cameo. Lahat. Pare si Luca was there. Everybody. Oh, and this is also a movie that was produced by LeBron. Oh, and Maverick nagtulungan Park. sila talaga. But oh. we don't want to spoil it for anyone. Ay, yeah. Na- watch it guys. Watch it. It's, it's, it's a very great watch. Ha? We spoiled it na pala. <laughs> <laughs> the ending. But maganda yung story guys. Maganda yung story. Sorry. Lalagay ko na lang sa timestamp na spoiler <laughs> alert. <clears throat> I'm so sorry guys but oh. yeah it was a good movie please watch it I don't know if I'm gonna put it in my top 5 may mga nagsasabi sa top 5 doon hindi. Basketball. Hindi. parang hindi, hindi naman hindi naman it's hindi. too masyadong feel good yung story yeah hindi siya masyadong saka, relatable oo tsaka yun Unless yun, for me ka. medyo bitin talaga nabitin ka it's, it's what like uh, not two even hours. an hour and a half at, two, two hours two ba? hours bro I did it feel like Di mo lang na feel dahil nung ending parang nakulangan ka. Pero it was oh. a great movie all over. Yeah. Okay. Watch it guys, watch it. Anyway, all right. Okay, let's start with the first PBA game. Yeah, you know, before we even get into the PBA. Guys, Go. ang saya lang ng PBA this 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 season. In first time to watch, yeah, hindi pa first time to watch live, but like this is my this first season. time this season and the last time kasi yung upuan ko was Lower box eh. Nung, 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 nung pinanadamin Northport. Ngayon kasi yung content. upuan mo, Ronald Dulatre nakalagay. Oo. Oh, oh, eh. Thank you boss ha. Thank you boss once again for the ticket. So talagang, you know, Amoy I miss... Amoy mo yung pawis, pare. Oo, oh, pare. I miss hearing, you know, what the coaches say, yung mga players, kung ano yung mga kansawa na sinasabi nila dun sa mga kalaban nila and everything. And first time ko actually to watch Coach Yang live in so long. Or in first so time long. mo bang nasa likod ka ni Coach Yang? I think so, yes. Makakatuwa siya, no? Because before, pag nanonood ako ng PBA, um, my dad was connected kasi to San Miguel. Um, client niya yung team doctor nila. So, San Miguel kami parate. Uh. 
So yun, so, hindi kabila, ko ma- ka, Oo, ah. di ko ma- narinig si Coach oh, Ngayon Coach ko talaga yun. lang siya narinig live. Grabe si Coach Ay, binan. Eh, kala ko, parang, Oo, oh, noong una, noong una, parang, chill-chill pa siya eh. Tapos, nung Hoy, medyo din na tinatawag yung, pa, yung flop, de flop eh, nagre-reklamo siya, Uy, flop, 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 flop. Manindi dun, bro. Kinausap din niya yung player, hindi mo nakita, sinigawin din niya yung player. Uy, oh. flop, 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 something like that. Alam mo si Coach Yeng, nag-i-intimidate talaga. Hindi, like, pare, magaling mag- talaga mag-mind games. Magma-mind games siya. Hindi kupal si Coach Yeng, pare, napakabait ng tao niyan. Na, he's just really, Talagang, you know, a smart guy who knows uh, how uh, to and And he knows game. that he's an intimidating figure. or Yeah, and he uses that to his oh, advantage. Oh, he uses that to his advantage. Like, Coach Yeng, yeah, any player, even if hindi ka nag... Especially yung mga hindi pa nakalaro kay Coach Yeng, Siyempre, hindi nila alam na, hindi, mabait yan eh. Di ba, hindi nila alam. Ang image lang ni Coach Yeng, laging galit, ganyan-ganyan. So, nang-i-intimidate talaga siya pa. Yeah. And, bro, he just knows how to play or coach a 48-minute game. Yeah, bro. Tang- na, isipin mo how different that NLX team was from the first half Grabe. to the second half. They just flipped the switch on Terra Firma. We thought Terra Firma had it in the bag, but 13. tang ina, Out of the gates pa lang eh, puta. JR yeah. ganyan. Biglang naginit. Oh, bar- Third quarter. 30, 30 points lang sila first half. 17 oh, diba? nung second half. They, and they were really boy. having a hard time running their sets. And ako, no joke to, but the way he rotates his players talaga forever, you will never understand how he does it. He wala rap, siyang given. Wala, he wala. Start, hindi nag-start si Kevin. Hindi nag-start si JR. Hindi nag-start. Hindi, si Kaldi JR nag-start. Ah, ah si Dusta. Start, the, the, start ng game. Know. Start ng game. So, yeah, lumalamang right. na yung Terra Firma. Di ba tayo parang, uy, legit yung Terra Firma. Wala siyang kapanik-panik. Parang, Wala, bro. Tang- yun, Trolliano came off talaga. the bench. Sorry, tas biglang pag pina... Alam niya lang talaga. Like, he plays 48 minutes. And trust me, guys, it is tough. to have that mindset. That is experience. You, you play 48 minutes. Kasi usually, your emotions get the best the best of you. Pag lamang yung kalaban, medyo gusto mo humabol na or go hard ka the whole time. Siya pare talagang buong 48 minutes lalaroin natin. Galing. Galing, galing. galing mag-coach. Iba, iba. Galing. Tsaka, tindi, nung third quarter, bigla niyang binunod si Panyamogan. Panyamogan. Who also na? hit uh, a, a couple of big oh, shots. Oh, sa corner. Quarter. Yeah. Kahit si Matt, pin- inugot din niya. Oh, si Matt din. Hindi. Like, hindi mo talaga ata, like, siguro kung opposing coach ka, hindi mo mababasa yung rotation. Ang, parang hirap mag-game plan against oh. a team that coach yung coaches, no? Kasi, hindi mo, di mo alam, biglang he'll make one of these guys, biglang the focal point of the offense. Eh. Oh, Obviously, yeah. Kevin is the, at the top of that list, but hindi mo alam, biglang siguro gagawin. Like, for a while, he was milking Calvin, ha, na puro four down. Oo, oh, tapos si JR din pagkuha talagang veterano oh, lang eh. No? Job, job. Biglang pupula. Like, like, si, si JR kanyan parang Al Horford ng PBA. Puta, totoo, biglang, totoo, totoo. Where, where did you find the fountain of youth, JR? Magaling, pare, magaling, magaling. grabe, pare. And the way he plays also is like Al Horford. Yung medyo yeah. tira sa labas. No? Yeah. I mean, obviously a lot of guys are playing relatively better at an older age. Like si Arwin, ganyan, ganyan. But like the way he plays, mala Al Horford talaga. Yeah. So, Alex is looking good, honestly. Kiefer was behind the bench. Of course, maganda pa din if they have Kiefer. But I don't think that's gonna go anywhere anymore. Parang, parang nag-stale, ano ba? Tama ba? Stalemate? Stalemate, yeah. Parang I, nag-stalemate I, na sila eh. So, wala nang balita, di ba? Unlike that yeah. TNT negotiations which we'll talk about yeah. later. Pero ito parang stalemate na eh. So, this will be the Alex team. And honestly, it looks legit. It looks legit. It looks good. Um, I love how they're moving the ball. I love how they're defending, especially in, in that second half. Nga. No, And yeah, go. Uh, go. They, they're just really uh, a ragtag team. Every time, oh. you know, a Coach Yang team is always a ragtag team. Oh, parang they grind out lang. They grind it oh. out. They grind it out. Sila nag, napapanik. Sila nag, they don't get too high. Don't, they don't get too low. And I love, I love the attitude of the team of the team towards each other. Na parang Walang inggitan eh. Nakikita pa, mo talaga na para... Sila, you, you would think that that some of the big names on the team uh, parang, ay puta, he has more playing time than you or whatever. You, you don't see that eh on the floor. Talagang, 
and they encourage each other pag sub appear do good job eh, whatever this is everybody knows the favorite ko si Kevin Alas everybody knows that alam naman oh, bro, ng tao Kevin Alas Kevin putang alam, ina alam ng tao Kevin Alas and RR Pogoy but then mas mas favorite ko si Kevin kasi si Kevin kalaban ko talaga yan high school pa lang so si Pogoy na appreciate ko lang talaga nung nagpa-practice na ako sa kanila nung one month na yun na ang galing niya and all that. Kasi Kevin talaga, since high school, kami na talaga nagkakalaban yan. And iba yung ano ni Kevin talaga. Very unselfish, pare. Sobra. Sobra. Like he came off the bench. Pero, very unselfish. Hindi nagpipilit. Pero 24 points. Yun yung parang... Bro, so, <laughs> sobrang suwabi lang ng 24 points niya. Sobrang kahit Hindi... lang niya. Yeah. Hindi mahirap panoorin. Hindi mahirap bro. Kaya talaga sportsmanship award siya. Yung oh, 24 talaga. points na parang hindi naman niya pinilit sarili niya makuha yung Sobra. 24. Kasi may, may 24 na alam mo eh na oh. inahanap niya or talagang yun yung main role And niya. Ito wala. He never, he's never been the type of guy naman kasi to all. At least when, at least ngayon na nasa NLEC siya. I, I forget when he was in college. At least now, parang hindi siya yung magbe-breakdown na dribble, dribble, dribble. Parang Love off it. hand-offs parate, off, off, off-ball movements. Very efficient. Kaya sarap panoorin eh. Di, di niya pinipilit. Ang hirap lang tiyan, talaga bantayan. Kasi, Kasi ang hirap ng kontra-champo niya, pare. Kasi Shinchi. parang madada pa parate. Parang meron talaga siyang ano. Like, kami ni Coach Nico, yung best friend ko na talaga basketball na talaga may from the start. kapit bike yun eh. Talagang yun na yung lagi na nag-uus. Parang yan eh. Ako, personally, like, yan eh Kevin Alas na No high school, kalaban namin. Yan na yun. Safe to say ba na pwedeng drunken master yung tawag kay Kevin? Parang eh, yun drunken master yung gano'n. Eh. Di ba? Yan yung talagang tawag sa kanya. Like, I, I, I never, I don't know what drunken master, I just know it's an anime or a cartoon. But, context clues, movie. drunk. Jackie Chan. Ah, okay. But, context clues, drunk. But he is, he looks drunk. Ganun, tsaka gano'n na talaga siya pari since high school. Kaya kami ni Coach Nico parang, yan na yun. Like, obviously, dum- dumagdag lang yung mga galaw niya. Pero yan na yun. Uh-huh. Yung gano'n-ganon niya. Tapos yung depensa niya, ang kala mo hindi dumidepensa, pero bro. stay in front. Grabe, bro. I got nothing but respect for Kevin. But let's so, talk about their affair, ma. They, they, they stayed they in legit. They legit also. They look legit. Sar- Actually, sarap nila panoorin. Bro, ang sarap. Parang, it was a great game. It was a great game. Oh, it was a great game overall. Ang, ang, ang dami rin piyesa ng Terra Firma, bro. Dami. Coach yan nga nagsabi kung di, <laughs> kung di yan napipitasan ng piyesa. Oh. Which are facts. Champion na siguro yan. Wait, they have a good team. They have a strong team. This team, this team can contend. I mean, Wami Chongson, Joshua Munzon, um, Aldrich Ramos, pare. Aldrich. Quiet 17-18 points. Grabe. Quiet. When everything, when everything was not working anymore for Terra Firma, it was Aldrich, Aldrich Ramos Grabe. getting the shot. Pati siya, anong ganda yung Kamson. Kamson, yes. Um, Gabayni. Gabayni kind of held, held, held his own. Kahilig. Ah, kahilig. kahilig. Putang ina. Hindi talaga matakot makipagpalita ng mukha pa. Oh, kahit lugi siya, no? <laughs> Although, ito, sabihin natin. Javi didn't have, like, the best debut. But he's Javi... Still, he's, 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 he's showing that, you know, he belongs. Pero pare, nung, nung, nung pagpasok pa lang natin, sinabi ko na kay, kay Nico tsaka kay CK. Si CK, kilala talaga ni Javi since first year sila. But like, he, he looks... Like a fucking PBA player. He's fucking ripped, man. Bro, like, mama na I have siya. Never, I have never seen him look I like that. I saw him first I mean, year, bro, na totoy-totoy pa. Yeah, diba? He's always oh, this long and lanky kid. Oh, mama, But ngayon, man. pare, iba yung tayo. Tapos, tangina yung muscles, bro. Defined, ah. Iba, bro. Iba, iba. iba tangina. Iba. As in, ang laki niya, ang tangkad niya. Tapos, like, he just looks. Like, pag nakita mo siya talagang, ah, Tatagal to sa PBA. He's out there to compete. Hindi yung pa makikita yung skills niya. Alam mo nang pang PBA siya. Kasi yung oh. tayo niya, yung tingdig niya, yung obviously yung tangkan niya, and then that Euro being able to 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 care, uh, to bring He's down the basketball. He's getting ready for it. He is, he looks legit. That's why when I was watching him, like, people are underestimating the Jeremiah trade just because yes, it's Jeremiah great. Nah. But when you look at Javi, yeah. parang feeling mo in 5-10 years, Javi's gonna be a A, a star. Oo, pare. Kasi... And, you know, I, I think people um, people don't realize na... I mean, people think na Javi is, you know, for his whole college career na parang he hasn't been, you know, the lead guy on any team. 
But I have a feeling that right now he's kind of wanting to embrace being one of the main yeah. options of a team. Yeah. And I think, you know, Terra Firma will definitely give him that chance. They're oh, obviously yeah. grooming him for that. For sure. And I think he's really ready for that already. Iba yung yung tindig niya having yan. Talagang very proud of him, man. I mean, sinabi ko sa story ko, first year pa lang, nakita natin yan. But si there, CK there, din, very, ano din, very sentimental yeah. na parang, like, mama na si Javi, babe, yung ganun. Mama na siya. Hindi parang dati na totoy, na mahiyain. So, yeah. Although, there were some welcome to the PBA moments that Javi eh, had. Eh, no? Sino tumira sa kanya? Ay, oh, meron siya mga rookie mistakes. Pero may tumira sa kanya si Trulliano at Bagsak siya, pinagsakit. Ginanong siya ni Trulliano, bagsak siya. Tapos trinay niya, may trinay niya bawian. Wala, hindi niya niya. Si para may frustration pa. Si ano eh. Alam mo yung si Javi yung alam mong nagpalaki sa gym. Kasi si Trulliano yung lakas niya pang ano eh. Pang kalye eh. Alam mo yun? Like, batak kali, sa laro eh. Pare, no? Batak lang. Hindi defined yung muscles ni Trulliano. Hindi. Pero pare, banggaan tayo. Galing ni Trulliano din bro. Tang ina may kilala rin akong ganyan. Puto si Michael Wico, ganyan din. Oh, yung mga ganyan. Nag, di nga daw nag-weights yun eh. Yung malakas lang talaga yung mga katawan. Malakas lang talaga natural yung katawan. Oh. So, it was a fun game, man. NLEX versus uh, Terraforma. Tough loss for Terraforma, but for NLEX, again, they just grinded it out and, you know, they played the whole 48 minutes. And then, after that game, ang usapan namin, uwi na tayo. Oh. Kasi matagal pa magsisimula yung next yeah. game. Parang isang oras in between. So, sabi yeah. tala, uwi na tayo. So, nung nag, nagbumibuelo na kami, biglang pumasok yung Phoenix. So, siyempre, pumasok na si Tyler, pumasok si Encho, si Matthew Wright pumasok, tapos si JV Mokon pumasok. So, sabi natin, uy, medyo na ano muna tayo parang na-distract. At parang, uy, tingnan natin muna si Matthew, lalaro kayo si Matthew, ganyan. Lalo nung pumasok si San Miguel. Nung pumasok si San Miguel, wala na, okay, nag-glue, you know? nag-glue na kami doon sa upuan. Monsters. Um. <laughs> Mukha silang monsters, pare the way they entered the floor. At isa-isa sila yung naglalakad pa. Isa-isa pa. Parang, ito na si Vic, ito na si Jericho, ito na si Erndon, ito na si Vaughn, si Simon, tapos puta, dumating si Chris, eh si Chris, lamo naman, nakahood pa. Tapos si JMF, dumating, dumating. Doon ko lang ulit na-realize kung gano'ng kalaking tao ni JMF, pare. He's <coughs> fucking huge. So he is. Wild. Ang laki talaga niya. Tapos ang tangkad. Tapos, pero smiling face. Kaya nakakatawa. Oh. <laughs> Gentle giant naman talaga. Eh, <clears throat> CJ Peros came in. Wala na. nag na kami sa upuan namin. So, basically, we watched the first quarter. But we didn't catch the Encho show in the second. Yeah. And the, the Tyler show as well. In the second half. Okay. I mean, I don't want to talk about San Miguel because they're obviously Yeah, they, I, I don't think there is anything to talk oh, about. Oh, tapos wala pa si Terrence noon, bro. No surprises that uh, June Mar played great. Uh, uh, we were think we were thinking siguro the nung first quarter kasi medyo chill siya, eh. hindi siya masyadong nabibigyan ng bola. Pero yung chill naman niya 9 of 11. <laughs> yeah, so I was surprised. Yung isa sa first quarter yung dinukot niya sa kabila. Para kung Ayun, no, ayun, yun. Kabila pero pero inupo siya after that. Inupo siya. Pero ano pa siya noon? Pero yun na nga si Junmar, parang chill lang siya. Pero after the game, 24-15. May switch yan parati, tang ina. Wala, wala. Ta- nobody can guard that guy. Oh. There is nobody in the league that can guard that guy. And shout out to coach, uh, trainer Aldo Panlilio. Because oh, yeah. sobrang kausap ko yan eh. He trains Bolik, Mokon. Si Bolik may ano din kapon. Flex eh, over Sean. Oh, eh. so, oh, yeah, yeah. Bolik, Mokon, Dakiwag, Junmar. Yung apat. Now, this is something I just want to share with everyone. Sinabihan ni Aldo, si Junmar, huwag ka na mag-undershirt. Like, dun ko lang na-realize. Oo oh, nga, hindi naka-undershirt kanina. Hindi na siya naka-undershirt. Naka-sando na talaga siya. Kasi yeah. di ba for the longest time, undershirt siya. Yeah, yeah. So, ganun ka, kita mo yung kumpiyansa ngayon ni Junmar na bata ka ko ngayon, condition ako. So shout out to Aldo Palillo and obviously June Mar 24 and 15. Wala pa nga si Terrence Stone, si Jericho hindi naglaro injured. So nothing to say about si SMB. But the future of Phoenix though. Bro, yung Encho, walang katakot-takot, pare. Damn. You know, pauwi kami ni Mikey and we were, somebody was telling him na 
i-post yung highlights. Nagbawala. Oh, And then I I check the score at halftime. Tang ina, 15 mm-hmm. points na si Encho. Tsaka may 3 points isa. Kahit din kung yung bitaw nun, 3 points isa. Tapos yung mga floater niya. And these were over CJ. Yeah. It just shows the fearlessness of... of Di ba nung, nung umpisa parang kala natin, you were saying, Uy, Akala ko may intimidate. Oh, no. may isa siya na parang binaba niya yung bola. Sa, usually, we were like, oh, kung ano to, all the way. Hindi niya in all the way, nag-stop siya, nilabas niya. So I was like, uy, kailangan ito maging agresibo kung gusto niya. Ayun na nga, nung second quarter, para siya naging agresibo. Hindi, nakita pa natin yung una eh. Yeah, we saw the first one. The, the, the sidestep. Then may floater over CJ. over CJ and then may sidestep siya. Tas, Yung pabanda. Oo. After that, that, the end of the first, dinala na niya sa second quarter. Oo. Oh. Grabe. Nothing but great moments for for Encho. Uh, Matthew Wright was still playing. We were very skeptical. Ah, nalaro kaya yeah. sa Matthew. Again. JV Mokon looked solid. Pero syempre, inaaral pa ni JV talaga yung sistema. Oh. But Tyler T, bro. Tyler Tio, man. I was very surprised with the start. Um, I was surprised with the start, I have to say. I was surprised with the start. I knew naman na... Uh, I knew Coach Topex was gonna give him a chance in I this just did, game. We just didn't expect that. We just didn't expect the start. And, uh, more so, the performance. But, but, but man, um, maybe also... Di na rin nakakagulat in a sense na... This guy never runs out of confidence, eh. Kahit if you give him the chance, na, if you give him the chance, more the more, most more, more more often than not, he will repay your oh, trust naman eh. Kumpiyansa talaga. And the five three-pointers, it just shows that this guy can score without having to mix it up with the guys inside. I think yeah. it's very important for a small point guard. Is he considered small? Oh, medyo, di ba? It's nice. Oh, kasi point oh, wala pa siyang six eh. No, wala. Okay. So he's a small five, point guard. Yeah. So he really needs to to have an outside jumper, a very reliable outside jumper to score. Kasi kung mag-mix it up with the big scale, alam na may June Marfarto sa ilalim, may rapang ka. So talagang 15 points coming from the outside. I think he finished in 17. 17, yeah. Oh, so, and, and the efficiency, pare, 5 of 5. Tsaka, bro. And you need that if you're a rookie. You're you know, a rookie. And you're a small point Having to come in. And if you want to put up good numbers, you have to do it in a short span of time. So you have to get a good percentage because obviously you're not that indispensable yet because bago ka pa lang and may kailangan ka papatunayan. But he did prove something in this game and I'm sure Coach Topex will continue to build on that sila ni Encho. So matagal pa nilaro niya dito. Kasi doon sa Ayun minuto niya. nilalaro niya sa atin eh. Kaya nga. Dito 27 minutes ata nilaro niya. Yeah. He and, said naman talaga na he just needs a chance. Oh, we were waiting for him to be given. We were waiting light. for it. Because we saw him the month before when, when Coach Tab would give him the minutes. He's diba? a great system player. He is. So because he's very humble. Ang ganda ng attitude to Tyler. Yeah. But for you to unleash that, yung galing niya inside, you need to really give him the keys. And, you know, Coach Tab give, give, gave him the keys. And they really look legit. Itong dalawang ito. And then you add, syempre, diba? They're only gonna get better. They went up against the powerhouse San Miguel. It's not like we we can't gauge it on the loss. You have ah. to see the performance. Na talagang lumaban. And they will only, you know, get better together. I don't know if Matt is gonna leave after this conference. Pero like, JV is gonna get them, ano, gonna get used to the system. Perk. Diba? Sean Anthony, di pa masyado nga kasi I think injured pa. But, you know, they're looking legit. They're really looking legit. But uh, Perk, as per usual, is solid. I wanted to say this before we move on to the next day, which was yesterday. Sa mga taong nanonood at sa mga taong nakikinig talaga from the start, I already I say this time and time again. Yung life, um, yung lifespan or room for error mo sa PBA is so short or so small Ito, ito, ito lang ah. Remember how when Aljun Melesio was drafted by Phoenix and then we were all solid Aljun Melesio. Now, it's not that Aljun Melesio is not good ah. Magaling si Aljun. He had one year. He had one year to establish himself. He played fairly okay. He wasn't like a breakout rookie or whatever. Fairly okay. One year lang dumating na si Tyler. 
ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na it's not always pagalingan. It's timing. Yung timing ni Aljun, come on guys. Aljun yeah, versus Tyler. It is pagalingan. I mean, I mean pagalingan. You... But the timing of your ano din talaga. Yung timing mo sa isang team. Because Uh-oh. Aljun, imagine if Tyler didn't arrive until 2020. At a Tyler in general wouldn't have arrived till 2024 25 then Aljun could have had more time to really get used to the professional game ganun kabilis yung lifespan sa PBA ganun kasikip sa PBA don't tell me especially that, for the guard spot oh don't tell me that when you put them back in college you wouldn't pick Aljun over Tyler you would definitely pick Aljun definitely college career definitely pero yun nga yung difference no ng ng ano So ngayon, compete sila ngayon. Compete oh, sila, bro. Compete. Rookie sure. sophomore. Compete. I mean, healthy competition yun, of course. But ganun lang. Gusto ko lang, para naintindihan natin kung gano'n ka, ano yun. Gano'n ka crucial yung each conference, each year ng players na hindi naman mainstays na ng mga tipong Chris Ross na, di ba? But iba yung... Iba kaya iba respeto ko sa mga PBA player. But, but this is gonna be a good problem for Coach oh, Topic. For sure. Because outside of these of these young guys, RJ Hesul tsaka RR Garcia lang naman guardya mo eh. So these, these guys will definitely be the future of this team. Yeah. So, you know, it's gonna be a bright future ahead of them. It's gonna be it's gonna be a crazy rebuilding phase for Phoenix. Especially for Phoenix. When, Matt, when Matt or if Matt leaves. But yeah. Okay. Okay, moving on to yesterday's games. Yesterday's games. First game, wow, Ooh. Blackwater upsetting TNT 85 to 78. I watched the fourth part of this. <laughs> si Sir, eh. si Sir JV Casho. He went back to number six too. Yeah. Ano ba si number 42? Start? Oh, 42. puta. Hindi ba wala kasi siya mag six sa Alaska. Kasi Jolas. Bakit? Yun. Jolas. Ay, o oh, nga pala. Tama, tama di ba? Jolas 6. Yeah, Jolas. Yeah. So, hindi yes, ko pwede mag-6. So, he became 42 sa Alaska. I, if I remember correctly, sa Powerade, 6 pa siya. And then when he went oh, to Alaska, six pa siya sa yeah. pwede mag-6, nag-42 siya, which was obviously 4 plus 2 is 6. And then yesterday, nag-story pa siya before the game na back to 6. So, pati, pati yung laro, back to 6. Eh. Back to 6. O, oh, talagang JB Casio Green Archer. Grabe, bro, yung... <laughs> Yung last, yung step back niya, yung pull up niya sa three points, tsaka yung pull up niya, yung fake, tumalon si Jason, tas one dribble. Vintage, pare, grabe. grabe Bro, iba yung, pare. iba yung galaw ni JV ngayon, ha? Oh, Batang-bata. Oh, tsaka iba yung, well, jumper naman kasi. Naman He naman has naman. brought the pep in his step back. Grabe, bro. Like, grabe yung JV. And Blackwater looks... They look legit. They look dangerous. They do. And this is still without BGR. BGR wala pa. So, obviously, Blackwater, everyone, a lot of people were surprised because we were waiting for Talk and Text to really make that, that decisive run to pull away. Hindi nila nagawa again. Again, when you're a team like Blackwater, keep it close till the end. Yeah. They kept it and close. That's what, exactly what they did. Yep, they kept it close. And then what happened? May chance ka ngayon manalo. Eh, sumakto uminit yung JV. Panalo ka. So, yun yung kailangan mong gawin. You have to keep it close against these powerhouse teams. And for Actually, they text, did keep it close. They were leading sila. almost Lamang the entire sila. time. Lamang sila. Pero yun nga, magra-run at magra-run ng token text. Kasi obviously, token text pa din yan. Nung nag-run yung token text at dikitan sa final minute, final two minutes, final three minutes, dito na bigla nga, sana bumuenas tayo. Eh puta, bumuenas yung JV. Wala na panalo pa. But, so Blackwater is looking dangerous. But what does this mean for token text? Well, this definitely means that they have to solve this Mikey issue very yeah. soon because they need to know if they're going to move on from Mikey or not because this game totally exposed the lack of a go-to score in crunch time. R.R. Pugoy tried to, do, tried to shoulder ba? the offensive load. He had 32. Pero nakita mo naman, if you're looking at the box scores right now, the next guy in double figures is J.P. Aram at 10. That is a big gap, 32 and 10. Jason Castro had 10. Troy Rosario, who had 22 points in his first game, only had 9 here. So there is really a need 
to find out if Mikey will still be in the picture moving forward. If not, they have to find solutions to be able to see who they can go to in situations where the game is close, where the game is on the line, and you need buckets. And we're not even talking, we're not even saying na kailangan na nilang bayaran si Mikey, kailangan na nilang si Mikey. No, no, no. No, they, it's they more just of, have to... They have to find... Kumbaga, they have it, to address already the situation. Yeah. It's a yes or a no. It's a hindi yes or yan, a no. Yeah, exactly. Hindi yan, bayaran nyo na, kailangan nyo na talaga. Hindi, hindi ganun yan. It's more of, ano ba talaga? Kasi you, you also want that distraction to go away. You want to mm-hmm. go to practice finally, nakaset na yung utak mo na ito yung mangyayari. Oh, ito, na, ito na lang oh, talaga tayo. Kasi may mga so, super, may times natin. kasi na nasa practice ka, aminin man natin o hindi, most of these players or some of these players would go to practice thinking, nandito na kaya si Mikey. Nandito oh. na kaya si Mikey. Naayos na kaya. <clears throat> you need to get rid of that distraction because when you go up against a laser-focused Blackwater team, may rapang ka. So, <clears throat> Yun nga, it's not payaran na nila. It's solve it already. Tapusin nyo na yan. Oo, tapusin nyo na yung problema. And then pag tinapos nyo na, alam nyo na ngayon, okay, we need to build without Mikey, guys. Or, good job, nandito na ulit si Mikey. So, and you know what's funny lang to me is a lot of people complain obviously because of the parity, walang cap space, walang binabayaran over the maximum players. Pero ngayon biglang, bayaran nyo na kasi si Mikey. Tatatandi nyo kasi binabayaran si Mikey. Nalito na naman ako sa gusto ng tao. They're pushing na wag mag-over the cap but they're also pushing bayaran si Mikey. Again, damn if you do, damn if you don't on PPA. It's a fucking thankless thing. Wala, 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 wala. <coughs> so anyway, <coughs> yan ang nangyari pag mga wala na mga boses. <coughs> Oo oh, nga. <coughs> ah, puta. Bibili Lala, na ako ulit ang paypak. Oo, oh, paypak ko lang yun. Bro. Ako pare, mga isang linggo na akong ano. Parang, ako rin bro. Pero lagi ako actually, negative. Ako actually, nagpapacheck ako lagi. Lagi ako negative. So, parang, ako rin, ako rin, ako rin. Mukhang ano lang talaga. Overwork. Anyway. Mis- mismo. Um, the next one was uh, Northport. Rainer Northport Shine. versus Rainer Shine. Um, I'm Just, loving how this Northport team is looking. Um... Parang nakakabuti pa sa kanila na wala silang big. Ah, okay, Because, okay. Kala ko masyado ako specific eh. Hindi, pare. Kasi nagagamit nila yung... Mabilis sila eh. Mabilis sila. You know, their guards are quick. Berto is there. Roy Sumang is there. So they can really push the tempo every opportunity that they get. Yeah. And having no legit yeah. big to slow them down. You know, James Calma was playing a lot of the five yesterday. Talagang nagamit nila yung speed nila against Trainor Shine, who is also not a slow team, but it really worked wonders for Northport having no, you know, yung post presence na talagang you, you have to dump it into the post, you know, set him up and stuff like that. It was really a very dynamic offense for Northport. Si Art, galing pa. Bro, si, bagay na bagay si Art galing dito. Art, because, galuta. and ang ganda ng combination nila ni Berto, ah. Ganda ng combination nila. Obviously, They had a lot of successful outings uh, dun sa pick and roll. Obviously, dalawang beda yan. Then you put Arwin, you put Kalma, you put Sumang. Ferrero was hot for a period there. And then, di ba, you just, Malonzo is back. So, yeah. they look legit. <coughs> they do. But the thing is, looking forward is, hindi ko lang pa mag-gauge kasi Rain or Shine doesn't have a dominant big. Yun niya. So, Wala silang obviously, sense. yeah, obviously, the ro- if you on on a paper standpoint from a roster standpoint mas wala kasi man talaga northport so we were expecting uh, this uh, 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 kasi puro bata yung Raynor but yeah yeah we <laughs> eh, when they go up against teams like Nebra like San Miguel who have oh, dominant oh, yun, yun. big men yun how will they fare will uh, <laughs> will guys like Jeb Calma obviously Chris Xavier wasn't there yesterday because he was injured and then uh, simpa yung isang big nila sabi ni coach Pedro ka pero pare kahit yung mga Raymond Almazan, Ian Sanggalang. Ayun nga, ayun, tama-tama. Doon so, mapapano ka. Doon talaga makikita kung ano, kaya ba. Di- Siyempre, hindi naman, po- of course, maybe on offense, you would say my speed and advantage and everything, but tanga na, kaya mo ba depensahan yung mga Ian Sanggalang, Raymond Almazan, Jun Marfardo, Christian Stan Hardinger. You Papalabang. cannot put that on JM Calma's shoulders alone. Kawawa naman, pare, di ba? But, <laughs> sabi, Tawa ako doon sa sinabi ni Coach Pido kahapon. Si Jaime Calma, 6'8 yan. Pero pagkasama yung buhok. <laughs> Kailangan kasama yung buhok eh. Kaya sabi ko, pababa ka lang magpababa ng buhok eh. But, yeah, Northport is looking 
Well, I, I can't say pa because yun nga, hindi pa natin na-address yung They were just fun to watch yesterday. They fun me. to watch them. Well, any, but anytime no, Berto is on the floor, it's fun to watch eh. Like, well, he just adds a different flavor to the game, man. Although he was 3-4-11 ata sa labas. You know what with Berto, pare? Magaling si Berto talaga. Pero meron siya talagang gusto niyang sa sobrang magaling naman na siya, obviously, di ba? Parang he wants to try making tough shots. <laughs> parang he just wants to play na parang... Kasi kaya naman niya eh, kung gusto niya eh. Yeah, he's obvious... He's Nandun na rin siya sa time na parang guy. ginigage niya yung laro eh. Oh, de tsaka gusto niya parati may bago siyang challenge eh. Oh, Yan oh, talaga yung pagka-inner competitor niya eh. Parang may ano? pagka-mamba mentality na Meron nabas talaga. kayo si Berto. Meron talaga. Meron talaga. Meron talaga. Which is very admirable. You know, that's why... He's always a joy to watch because he always wants to take his game to the next level. Galing, galing, galing. For Rain or Shine, though, this is a young team, man. Yeah, like, bro. This is a I really do. young team. I like what... Um, who is the... I forgot who's the... I forgot who's the... RG, panel right? Kagabi. RG. Oh, that's right. I love what Coach RG was saying yesterday that the Rain or Shine management has to be patient with this team because obviously there will be a lot Puro of... Bata? pains, a lot of hardships, a lot of roadblocks along the way. But if you just be patient with this team, uh, ang ganda kasi na you know, sabay-sabay kayo to, to grow up and then pag nag-mature na kayo and then mix it with a bit of veteran flavor, this team is gonna be dangerous. Meron naman flashes of brilliance eh. Alam mo, ito yung concern ko sa Rain or Shine. I don't mean this is a bad way. I just, it's just a concern. Yung mga players nila, puro pogi eh. <laughs> like, in a, in a sense na Ateneo, Lasal, Sean. Like, I don't see yung mga mama. Uh, tinatanggal ko si na Boa kasi obviously yun yung mga, I'm talking about the younger guys. Hindi kaya puro larong mayaman to mga to. No joke. <laughs> kaya nga nila kinuha si John Nerd eh. <laughs> oh, si Jonard? Palaban si Jonard. Tang ina, di. Saka si, Never ano, back down talaga yun. Si Santillian, palaban. Oh, si Santillian. Saka si Demusis. Oh, yun. Isa pa yun. Pero may vibe lang sa akin. Or maybe it's just me. Na. Ang tingin ko lang talaga kay Anton, Andre, and... Uh, bro, and I... And Sean, I'll parang mga I'll, bata. Hindi, bro. I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, I've been teammates with Anton in a lot of village leagues Ay, tirador before. si Anton! Oh! Eh, tirador si Anton. Tsaka magkalaban kami yung up no high school. Indian larong mayaman, bro. Ah, Tiradorsenton. 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 I'm just saying like yung vibe nung team nila. Uh, Parang ang, ang lilinis. And that's why so I don't for, mean it in as a bad, I don't mean it as a bad thing. Nga, eh. I'm just, I'm just being observant. Ang lilinis. So pag kumalabang ka ng mga magnolia na puta, hindi ko sinasabi mga madudumi, pero you get what yeah. I'm saying, mga Gio Halalon, di ba? Mga but, Alvin Abueva. Paano? But, but don't you think you could, you, they could use that kind of ano, vibe to their advantage Paano? na parang yun yun yung so yun yung akala ng mga team sa kanila ay tang ano malilinis to mga to mama si Anton lang naman yung tirador doon eh Tingnan si Andre si Andre tirador din I'm just saying like it's just again it's just an obs- it's just an observation it's not an analysis it's not assuming something it's just napansin ko lang when I watch this Rain or Shine team other than Bo Belga literally other than Bo Belga wala na silang brusco. Well, Ponferrada, obviously. Ponferrada Kaya nga, the younger there. ones nga pinag-uusapan ko. Para sa akin, yung Santillian lang yung tipong... But I, I think that that's only natural at this stage because hmm. these guys are still trying to find oh, nga, nga, mga bata nga, in the PBA. Nga. So eventually, I think they'll find that identity naman yeah. and establish that along the way. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's also good uh, observation. It's just maybe. an observation na parang I think they need to address it in a way na huy, kailangan hindi na pwedeng pakit dito. Bibihin na to eh. Siguro diba? feel ko feel ko naman di magkukulang si Kuya Bo. Oo naman. Ayo, oh, uh, sigurado. Eh. Pangarap. And Gabe didn't play yan yesterday. Kaya laking bagay eh, pero yun. Pero si Gabe ano din yun eh. Ah, honestly, come on. Gabe is not a tapakabait ni Gabe. Eh. Oo nga. I'm saying lang from past rain or shine teams na Christian. Oh, they... I, I, I kasi gusto think... nilang bumalik dun eh. Paul Lee, Christian. Yan ba yung direction na gusto nila? I mean, obviously, you wanna go back to that kind of success. Yeah, Dito, but like... Paul Lee, Christian, T.Y. Tang, 
Jairi Banyes, Ryan Aranya. Yung, pa si Engyao. Oh, yung image ng Rain or Shine dati, na sila yung mga bad boys ng liga. Hindi na sila ngayon, ngayon parang alilinis. Oh. Again, it's it's not okay, maybe it's not a sign of concern. It's more of an observation. Uh, this is totally different. Kahit yung jersey so, nila, ang ganda eh. Oh, pare. Linis eh, oh. Navy blue. Ang linis. K- k- naalala mo pa yung mga well-caught jersey dati. Oh, yung, yung parang... Oh, di ba? Yung dati, parang pagsuot ni... Bo Belga yung dati. Tal- JR Kinyan, talagang... Ay, naman, masasaktan tayo dito. Yun lang. Like, Bak, naalala ko pa nga may Jojo Tangkay pa nun. O Jojo eh. Tangkay pa ng well-caught, pare. Di ba, Sol Mercado, nasa ano pa nun dati. Like, Iba lang talaga yung... I don't know. If, I mean, if you're, if you're considering going back to that. Pero obviously, yung kinukuha nila, mga pretty boy eh. So, Hindi, pero pare, mga pretty boy rin naman. Mga palaban rin naman. Palaban din naman. I'm saying, uh, tama nga naman yung sinasabi ni Coach RG. Just have to give them time. And that is correct. But I hope during that time or that process, medyo... Kailangan natin medyo... Di ba? Kasi pagkalabang... Pare, nung nanonood tayo ng... San Miguel, nung pumasok sila, nasabi ko sa'yo, kada nakikita ko yung PBA up close, naiintindihan ko kung ba't di ako nag-PBA. <laughs> like, hindi ako para dyan, bro. Puta nga yun, dumating si na Chris Ross, parang, puta. Legit, sinabi ko kay Javier, takin na, tawa siya. Like, I'm just being honest with myself, bro, when I see them, parang, e, kaya hindi ako nag-PBA. Grabe, pare, di ba? Mga talagang, iba, iba talaga. Iba talaga iba. yung, iba yung, iba yung vibe ng PBA player. And even si Naljun Milesio, ngayon pag nakikita mo, parang PBA player na. Yeah, That's why, bro. even Anton din naman eh, pag nakikita ko, medyo nandun eh. Tsaka si Andre. Pero like, I'm just saying, like, if you wanna win in this league, you gotta be bad. Yeah. You gotta be bad. Na, na, nice guys finish last in this league. Because if you stand on the other side of the court and San Miguel is on the other side, or Hinebra, or Magnolia, or TNT, aputa, ah, Meralco, aputa, ah, pal, hindi pwedeng, hindi pwedeng, hindi na pwedeng, bro. At saka, ang daming, ano, ang daming si Rainer Shine ka po, ang daming, alam mo yung clap na nangihinayang, ang daming. <laughs> daming nga, daming. O, kunyari, nagmintis ka, mas ma- hindi ka mananalo sa PBA, kung puro ka, hindi pwede. They have, they have to, they have, they to, have to do away with that. Uh, but again, it's That's a process. Not, uh, yeah, it's a process. It's a process. It's a process. So, yeah, let's not rush them. I, I think rush. it's... um They have enough time to deal with it. They have a lot it. of time. They have a lot of time. Like, I'm just saying, it's just an you observation. You could do better. <laughs> no, no. They have something to look on. And to look forward to. Or they have something to look at na ito yung kailangan natin i-address. Kasi, iba eh. Iba, iba, iba lang talaga yung tindig nung mga NLEX. Iba eh. Diba? Iba yung... So There's a certain shine, aura and aura certain eh. energy oh. to how... Pare, makita mo lang sila maglakad eh, no? Eh, kaya nga, it doesn't matter kung rookie ka eh. Bakit si Javi? Talagang... Javi. I don't know. That's I don't know. It's just an observation na kailangan nilang i-address. So... Again, I think Rainer Shine is gonna have to go through this process, this rebuilding process. But they have pieces that they, they could build do. on. I'm just saying that's one of the things they need to build on. Kailangan nila bumalik dun sa tough. Tough. Because if you're not tough in the PBA, you're gonna lose, bro. Lakit mo yung... Kakainit ka na lang, boy. End one ni Bolly kay Sean. Oh, pare. Butang yun, bilang ganyan. Pak! Biglang... Tapos biglang flinexan niya si Sean. Bad, yun bad, ko. bad. Yun yung mga welcome bad. to the PBA moments na parang dun mo marirealize na iba na dito. Iba na dito. At saka, yeah, maybe to your point also now I realize it na parang you, you know naman how Sean is such a you know good guy oh, and eh. you know, friends with everybody. Yung image I niya. I think he wa- he has to do away with that image eh, just a bit. Even, kahit siguro pag nasa court lang siya. Ito yung sinasabi ko na that the era of social media in the on the college level it has it can be bad because yung mga league fits league fits na yan wala na yan pagdating mo sa PBA. May pumipicture ba sa PBA sa labas ng Araneta na mag yun yung sinasabi kong ito yung sinasabi kong it's both a blessing and a curse. 
Because wala lang po i-picture sa labas ng Araneta. Walang po i-picture na magpo-posing kayo diyan, 'di ba? After niyo magpa-swap, 'di ba 'yun? yun Nagpapa-swap sila tapos uh, posing uh. sila, po-post ng Slam Online PH, League Fits, Wave, blah blah blah. Wala na 'yan sa PBA. 'Yun yung sinasabi ko. Wala na 'yan. Si si Rubong, si Kevin Alas, ni hindi ko alam kung ano shot 'yan papunta ng PBA game. Pero pagdating doon, ah puta, kaya nabanatan tayo dito. Diba, yun yung sinasabi ko. Robert Pollock, I don't know what the fuck he wears, pero pagdating sa game, then this is what I'm saying, na yung college game, dito nagbabago bigla. Yung transition period ng college game, totally nagbago na eh. But when you get to the PBA, guys, nandito pa yung OGs. So they're gonna take, they're gonna pounce on that college social media mentality that you have. Because they will really bully you. Yun yung sinasabi ko. Yun yung part na parang ah, you gotta separate the men with the boys. Kailangan yeah. medyo wala na yung mga ganun. Kasi, in, in college kasi it's really no no doubt about it. Heavy, 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 heavy talaga on exposure and hype. Oh! But when you move to the PBA wala it's gonna na. all come down to are you a good basketball player? No. Can you last in this league? That's, 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 that's the question that it all comes down to. Tama. Kasi uh, sa, sa college you can you can be the, the most famous player kung kahit di ka magaling, kung malaki yung exposure mo sa tama social media. Ba, eh. Tama ka doon, bro. Tama ka doon. It's, you know what? You know, honestly, I'm not, I, I don't even know if I can say it's 50-50 na. Parang feeling ko, 40-60 na yung basketball to social media. Oh. Naging 40-60. I think, I think, I think that's a very, uh, but in the PBA, it's definitely not like that. Oh, alam mo kung sino yung mga players that nakikita kong ito, ito, ito guys, ah, I have to explain this also because I know the transition. Because when I was a player, trust me, I wasn't on social media. Diba? Alam mo, kilala mo, kilala mo ko nung college ako. Diba? You were such ako. a fucking hermit. Oh, yung parang, hindi nagsasalita, walang kinakausap, ganyan, ganyan. So, nung lumabas yung personality ko, kasi tapos na ako mag-player, everybody was like, ang dal-dal pala itong hype na to. Kasi nung college, talaga, wala akong kakausapin. Because, Not because I was trying so hard. That was the image of a basketball player. Tama, di ba? Yun yung jack. Yep. Yung tahimik, yep. laro yep. lang, mukhang bola, like bola siguro kinakain ito. E, ganun yung image ng jack nung 2000s to 2010s. Ngayon nagbabago yung image ng jack. Ngayon medyo po, tayo na sumis. E, hindi ka parang sa'yo, pumaporma na yung jack. Dati pare, alam mo na eh. Wala pa. Bro, na. tanga na. Shorts slides t-shirt. lang, saka, saka socks. Oh, shorts t-shirt. Shorts t-shirt. t-shirt. Alam mo, yun yung jack. Ngayon, nagbabago ng image ng jack. Nagkita ngayon sa PBA. Nagkita ngayon. Who are the guys in the on the college level na nakikita ko still has that mentality? Jerome Lastimosa. Yeah. RJ Abarientos. Yes. Yan yung mga... I just want to play basketball. Yeah, no frills, no, ev- no anything. You know, just, yeah, exactly. Just ball out on the court. Yeah. And... Yun eh. Ano, sa PBA, tingin mo may magpo-propose after the game? Wala, man. Iba, iba, ibang, ibang, ibang animal. Ibang animal yung PBA. So, yun, exact, okay, so na-expound lalo yung sinasabi ko. Yun lang yung napapansin ko. Na parang, iba yung mga, yung mga Arwin Santos. Iba eh, kasi parang, alam mo yung may mysteriousness, yung parang hindi ko kilala to, kaya mas nakakatakot eh. Tsaka kasi, uh, ang, and also to bring up uh, past incidences, na wala nang pakilang masyado kung anong gawin mo off the court. Eh. If you perform on the court, then you're good. Wala pa. Diba? I mean, case in point, yung mga iba, like sila Bolik and sila Scotty Thompson who had off-court issues. Sorry to bring that up. But like, just to prove the point na if you ball out on the court and you play well, diba? Parang di naman, wala akong wala nang pakilang mga tao kung anong gawin mo off the court eh. And also, bro, yung nangyari kay Bolik and kay Scotty, hindi nila, I mean, hindi nila nila, hindi sila yung naglabas. Oh. I mean, things happen on a personal level na hindi naman dapat natin alam or problema nila yon. Lumabas siya because sikat sila. And where did their kasikatan come from? The court. From being hell as good basketball oh, players. Oh. So, yun lang siguro yun. Yun nga siguro yung napapansin ko na nadidistinguish mo ngayon sino yung nasa Gen Z era at sino yung mga mama. Pero it doesn't mean naman na pag nandito ka, ganun ka na, pag nandito ka, nandito ka. It doesn't mean that way. Kasi ako, I was part of the the mama era 
that I could have been better off dun sa Gen Z era na medyo mga papogi, mga forma, ganyan. Honestly, aminado naman ako dun eh. Pero kita mo ngayon, pagdating sa court, iba pa din mama. Iba-iba pa din. Diba? Like, anong pakailan ni Calvin Abueva sa mga ganyan, diba? Basta pagpasok ko ng court, ah, patay kayo sa akin, Gio Halalon. Diba? Like, the more followers you have, you know, honestly, the more followers you have, the more distractions you have. That's true. And That's very true. I'm not saying naman na masama yun eh. I'm saying it takes away from the basketball side. It but and but uh props to people props to those who are not distracted by it. It oh, takes a lot of talaga. willpower na talagang you know if you wala kang pakialam talaga kung sa anong nangyayari doon. Sino ang madaming followers na? Kiefer. Kiefer. 30. I mean, yeah. Like, you don't get distracted from the essence of the game. Just, of the essence of your whole career. The main. Which is basketball. Which is basketball. So, and I'm not even just talking about rain or shine. Like, the other guys. Like, si Tyler Tio, tahimik eh. Oh. I mean, He's yes, he has. Been... Si, si Encho Serrano, tahimik. Oh. Alam mo kung sino napansin ko? Ako, ako, ako nga. Kaya hindi na ako pwede pipibay. Kasi nga, wala na eh. Pumasok na ako dun sa era na yun eh. So, wala na. Hindi na pwede. Hindi ka nare-respetuhin. Honestly ah. Honestly, hindi ka nare-respetuhin. Oh, di, totoo. Diba? Ano ba ginawa ni Berto? Which I always say, medyo exage. Pero, tangan na, tinanggal niya lahat ng following niya eh. Diba? So, pansin ko lang naman. Pansin ko lang. Diba? We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Lumayo lang tayo sa dun sa topic. Hindi na to rain or shine actually. This is just more of an observation between the both between both eras. Diba? We'll yeah. see what happens. But exciting. Again, later is gonna be a good day again of PBA basketball. So hopefully y'all can catch Shit, it. Shit, oo nga. Sarap, sarap ah. Sarap oh. na bumalik na yung PBA oh, ulit. Oh, and then tomorrow to those who are saying that uh, the cream oh, of the crop bro. is not in the PBA, it's still Nandun the pa cream pa of the crop. So, fuck you all. Um, tomorrow is my debut as producer of Game On. So, I'm gonna, sobrang yun yung ginagawa ko the past few days and then tomorrow is gonna be my first day. So, pwede ko nalagay yung producer sa resume ko. I'm so excited. Yeah. After tomorrow. Alright, guys. Thank you very much for all the support, people. Um, Kaya na yung PBL mo? Next week ka pa, no? Tomorrow, tomorrow. So, ah, tomorrow. Uh, whoever is going to be in Batangas tomorrow, drop by Batangas City Coliseum. See you all there. Yeah, pala ng Batangas. All right, guys. Thank you very much again for all the support. Please join Hoops Up on Viber and also the Shoot First community on Facebook. Again, thank you very much for all the support and also please tuloy tuloy tayo dito. All right? The name is Mike Curious. This has been Avi Palanya. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Peace and love and we'll see you all next week. Have a good one, guys. Have a good weekend. <laughs>